Pretty much all baseball gloves over 250 bucks are really solid, at least not bad. But today we're gonna be looking at gloves that are 200 bucks and lower, and the quality here can change a ton. We're starting with nine, but we need just three to make it to the Ball Glove King budget list. First things first, let's go get the gloves. I think this video is about to take off. It is slightly raining, but we have our nine. I'm gonna show them to you. Just so you guys know, all of these are like 11 and a half inches and under $200, just to be clear. We have the Rawlings Gamer XLE. This has the Pro 31 pattern, and this thing is 150 bucks. Marucci Ascension Series, this thing here is 200 bucks. Wilson, a 1,000 at 150 bucks. The Rawlings Encore, this thing is 170 bucks, and I haven't seen it anywhere before, so I have no idea what to expect. This is the Mizuno Prime Elite, costing 175. Here's an Academia Pro Soft Select at 180. Old Faithful here, the Rawlings R9 at a whopping 130 bucks. By whopping, I mean that's cheap. Also, the camera angle is terrible. Mizuno MVP Prime at 120 bucks. Then the Marucci Oxbow at $150. Let me explain what we're doing. Gentlemen, we're in Oregon. Um, you guys probably know who that guy is. Come on, focus, focus. Hey. So anyway, uh, big announcement actually coming soon for like a second slash kind of third channel we'll be working on. Uh, for the slow pitch guys, you'll be very happy. But anyway, Will's the man. He's gonna be in the video next week, so watch that one. So you guys, I just wanna be clear. We are gonna be playing catch without breaking the glove in at all. It's kind of silly, but the purpose here is just to get an idea for um, like how serious is the leather on these gloves. Because a $200 glove compared to an $80 glove is just a massive difference. This will help us get an idea for what we're dealing with. All right, to start, we have the Rawlings Gamer XLE. So in a good way, it's obviously stiff. Every glove we're wearing right now is gonna be traditional. That's kind of a rule. I can obviously squeeze and catch it, but in game, no, you wouldn't just be able to walk on field with this thing. Wilson A1000, 11 and a half inches. I think they're all 11 and a half. I don't know why I said that. This thing's much softer. Obviously it's not ideal, but you could walk on the field with this thing and game it. All right, this one I was surprised by. I kind of like the design on this thing, but it also looks like a fast pitch glove. All right, I didn't think I would catch it with this one. Oh, that one almost came out. Yeah, there's just such little squeeze on this thing. This is pretty much it right now. Marucci Ascension. I've had an incredible amount of requests for this, so this is a big one. It's stiffer than I was expecting. This is also our most expensive glove of the day, so it better perform. The Academia Pro Soft Select. This might be the biggest letdown of the day. This thing's 180 bucks. That's a lot of money, guys. Ew, boogers. This thing has the most awkward clothes out of everything. The thumb is made out of iron. You can only move the fingers like just a little bit. <laughs> oh, so far, I hate this thing so much so far. Rawlings Encore, this is like the more expensive version of the Gamer XLE, but it feels like identical. Kind of a big fan already, but 180 versus 150. This is gonna have to be like noticeably better than the Gamer XLE for it to be worth another 30 bucks. Mizuno MVP Prime, I actually had one of these like eight years ago. Let's go. It feels really good off the bat, but we'll see once we actually break it in. I'm not so confident about the actual like durability of the thing. I gotta actually look it up. I don't remember what the price point was. Dang, okay. Yeah, it's like 120. This is basically its comparison. Like these would rival each other. Rawlings R9, we already know we're Pretty big fan of this. Extremely similar like stiffness level to that MVP Prime. This is gonna be a fun matchup throughout the video. 130, 120, extremely similar feel so far. Last one, Marucci Oxbow. I've had one experience with this glove and it was actually really bad. So hopefully this can actually change my opinion on it. So far it's pretty bad. This is 150 bucks. The XLE is 150 bucks. The XLE has impressed us a lot. This hasn't. Uh, we'll have to see. Just to be clear, all these gloves cost $200 at the original price, so no discounts or anything like that. I'm breaking them all in traditional. I'm also breaking them all in right now, and for some reason I didn't do this ahead of time. It was good. Yeah, give me some. Wow, this is gonna be a lot of work. I do wanna show you guys, some of these are like way softer and easier to break in than others. Let me put a timer on with this one. Let's work on it for like 60 seconds. Huh. 
for one, I am out of breath. Let's get this thing on. But, I mean, you guys probably can't tell the difference, but this thing feels like it's already been used for multiple games. All right, I have to show you this. The Academa is just goofy. This thing, I, I, it's continuing to weird me out. But the thumb and the heel on this glove are stupid, thick, and padded. I think these also might be the worst laces here. We'll see. Okay, you guys, we have the Mizuno MVP Prime. We're gonna be going lowest to highest when it comes to price. Let's start. I've used this term before. The glove is getting bullied like a lot. I mean, it's 120 bucks, so I guess we should probably be expecting that. Laces are holding up like somewhat well. So after just a few of hitting like the web, the web is like kind of pulled back already, um, kind of doing its own thing. The leather definitely is getting bullied, but I honestly don't hate this thing. 120 bucks is pretty dang cheap. If you hit the web, it's not too hot, but I will say that's pretty normal for this price range. Our question is, is the R9 gonna perform better? I've said in the past that this is generally one of the best gloves for like youth out there or just cheap gloves in general. I guess today we're gonna find out if that's really true. This glove probably wins an award for like most comfortable on the hand. That doesn't mean it's good though. Wait, we could possibly get a ball to go through the web. Okay, I don't want that to go through the web. That would have been like... Poof. Gosh, with any of these youth gloves, any glove ever, you really don't want to hit that web. It really yanks on it, dude. I can already tell. There is so much more pocket on the R9 than there is on the Mizuno Prime. What I mean is it's a lot easier to catch the ball without, like, destroying your palm, but also not hitting the web. Yeah, this feels really good. 130 bucks. Heck yeah. Only yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, the Rawlings R9 cannot be slept on. We're gonna see if we can get a ball to fit through the web. So I'm gonna kind of sit back like this. Definitely like a ton of slingage. It went straight through. <laughs> went straight through. No, I just didn't catch it. <laughs> Did that go through? Just to be clear, this is the hole it's going through. Okay, I think it did go through because that one got stuck. Ow! That one went through! It hit me in the head! Okay, so like you could definitely tighten the glove up, but it shouldn't do that. We're not playing on anything hard. This is probably spitting balls out at 70. Gosh, that really sucks though. I'm genuinely super disappointed because I really, really like the R9. I love the 31 pattern. We'll talk about it more in a second. That sucks. The Rawlings Gamer XLE. I am excited about this one. I made a video on the Chris Bryant model of this glove. It has the speed shell back here. Obviously the Pro 31 pattern. I have high hopes for this thing. <laughs> it, it felt even better than it sounded. Yeah. Oh, I have a feeling that this glove is gonna just be a fan favorite. This glove is so nice. It's confusing the price point. Like obviously we don't want them to increase it, but it could be increased. Like this is better, far better than the other gloves at 150 bucks. I will say this feels really good. And I would specifically say for like high school kids and up, you know, there are definitely middle schoolers out there too who could use this. But if you want like a youth feel, like you want that softer feel, maybe this isn't for you. Cause part of why this feels so great is it's comparable to the more expensive gloves, like the more durable, higher quality, a little bit stiffer gloves. Like it just feels so good to like actually be excited about this cause it's just that nice. Yeah, and then on top of it, you guys, I recently discovered that the Pro 31 pattern is just like the best traditional glove out there. Now, if you want like a average to deep pocket, but you wanna wear it traditional, you, you have to get this. Dude, it's just so good. Here's the Wilson A1000. The wrinkles on this thing are just insane. I'm not so sure how I feel about this thing. It broke in really quickly. I guess we're just gonna find out. I think I would have really liked this colorway back in like maybe freshman, sophomore year, middle school, something like that. Nowadays, it's just a little bit too much going on. Okay, I mean, that's sticking it right there, honestly. Like those are kind of hitting the web a little bit and they're just, I'm actually, 
a little impressed thus far. I'm definitely not impressed by the feel of these laces. Like they are very thin, but I don't feel it when I'm catching it. Like the ball is not bullying the glove. This is awesome. Dude, heck yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised by this thing. This might be one of the best gloves for like kids who truly need a soft glove. Like the Gamer XLE is nice because I think it is just more durable and a little bit like stiffer than this. For how soft this glove is, it performed great right there. Here we have the Marucci Oxbow series. I gotta say, just to start off, for 150 bucks, it's pretty dang soft to begin with. And I'm kind of worried about these laces because if you pull on them, it just stretches a lot. It literally just feels like a slightly more cushioned version of the R9. So far, I'm just honestly, I'm not impressed, but I also don't hate it or anything. If someone was interested in this glove, they like the way it feels and everything, I would just tell them to think about the R9 just being a little bit cheaper and pretty comparable. Rawlings Encore. So I gotta say, this has to be a copycat of the Rawlings Gamer XLE. I mean, look at just the design, clearly super similar. This doesn't have the speed shell. And what I've noticed, if you kind of feel the finger up here, this is actually just slightly thinner than the Gamer XLE. So even though it's more expensive so far, I'd bet my money on the XLE over the Encore. I mean, very similar to the XLE. I think this feels just like barely softer. All right, I need you guys to hear me out because this thing feels amazing, but it is just a copycat of our XLE. With that being said, I think I prefer the XLE because it feels just slightly more durable and it's cheaper. So we're just not even gonna consider this anymore. It's out of the glove list because why not just buy this? You guys, the Mizuno Prime Elite I gotta say, I kinda like this web. The perforated leather looks kinda cool, but the leather on here is actually solid. I gotta say, it's the least comfortable glove so far. None of these are super broken in, just ready to play catch. This one feels just a little bit more awkward than the others, but just wait for the next glove because it's super weird. Our most uncomfortable glove yet. That was a good pop. Holy nuts, dude. Okay, here's what I can say. For sure, the glove is still pretty uncomfortable. Doesn't feel good on like my thumb specifically. The insides of the glove here are not as soft as some of our others, which is also because the other ones are like cloth on the inside because they're very cheap. Everything is leather on the inside of this one. So naturally, it takes a little bit more time to make it feel comfortable, but the actual catching of the ball, really solid. The glove is performing well. The web and laces too are actually pretty sturdy. Dude, that like, it hurts your thumb. Hang on. I'm surprised my fingernail's not like bleeding or whatever. I think what it is is my thumb keeps hitting where these laces go into the thumb. Um, it hurts a decent amount, honestly. Anything that hits a little bit high up on the web, it's like jamming those laces into my thumb. The glove is less comfortable and it's likely because the whole thing is leather. It doesn't have that like soft cushiony, you know, felt stuff on the inside. Not sure I like the shape of this thing either. It's just a little awkward. <laughs> this is the asparagus glove. We should actually go, should we ask my mom? My mom, not your mom. <laughs> We're gonna go ask my mom of what this smells like. I promise you this glove smells like asparagus. I think she'll be able to guess it. Hey mom, for a video, can you smell this glove? It smells like leather. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> let's, let's go back. This is the Academa Pro Soft Select. You guys, I have no idea what to even say about this glove. Besides the fact that it does smell like asparagus, the shellback leather is definitely a lot different than the actual palm. This stuff is really soft. This feels somewhat decent. Laces feel really bad. I, I just don't even know what to say. The shape of this glove is goofy. The way it closes is goofy. Asparagus glove. I'm not sure if this thing can even catch the ball. Like I keep going to like break this glove in, but the thumb and the heel are just so awkward and bulky that this probably has like the least like game ready feel out of everything. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was so, such a gross catch. I don't know if Academa does this on purpose, but I've seen it in their other gloves. With the modified trapeze here, it's almost like they shape it like it's supposed to have a pocket right here. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just something I've noticed. Dude, I'm struggling to like feel confident and comfortable with this glove. I don't know how anyone like younger could enjoy using this. It has like pretty solid like structure to it. Like it is not getting bullied. 
I will say, you hit certain parts of the glove and it makes the thumb kind of shoot up like this. You can definitely tell the difference in the feel of the palm leather and the shell back. That was a good pop. I don't love saying this, but it's just slightly better than I was expecting. But I am not saying that this is good though. I'm gonna make this claim right here, right now. I think this has the most awkward and the worst shape out of all the gloves. The Marucci Ascension series, you guys, this is the most expensive glove, therefore it should be the best. I don't know how I feel about it right now. Let's play catch with it. Obviously that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> this is the peak of the budget list. The most expensive you're allowed to get. That was a bad catch. A little bit of doinkage right there. That was good. At 200 bucks, I would expect the glove to feel a lot more like a high quality leather glove. We don't want it to feel like, you know, a fluffy youth glove where the inside is made of fabric. That hurt my hand. I'm just slightly disappointed by this. I've heard such good things from Marucci. Not a huge fan of this right now, especially considering 200 bucks. Daddy. That sounded good. So I think my critiques largely stem from the fact that this is a expensive glove here for the budget list. This really isn't bad, but is it good enough to be in the top three? Still don't know. The Mizuno MVP Prime, uh, not in love with it, but I also don't hate it. You guys, 120 bucks, it's like pretty dang solid, but if we compare it to the R9, both of these gloves have a lot of flex, but this one here just flexes throughout the entire thing, whereas this one, that stretch is really only happening where it's getting the impact. What I'm trying to say is these gloves compare very closely. I wouldn't tell you you're dumb for buying either one of these, but if I had to pick one, I'm gonna go with the R9. What you can do is just get a different web or simply just learn how to tighten up the eye web so that it doesn't shoot through the web and hit you in the shoulder slash face. The MVP here is just a little bit less comfortable, but the difference is honestly pretty dang minor. Very comparable, both really solid. Our Wilson A1000 might be like our sleeper glove of the day. I've never been a very big fan of this glove, largely because of the wrinkles that are all over the palm on the back of the glove. It just kind of looks bad. And then on top of that, the laces actually feel really bad. Very thin inconsistent not a fan but then i went and played catch with it and it just stuck everything very big fan in the end what i noticed was that this thing is on the softer side so this is pretty ideal for a lot of the kids out there who need the softer leather but want a solid glove at the same time the rawlings gamer xle i already knew that i liked it going into this video but goodness gracious i'm doubled down on this thing very very big fan the key takeaway is knowing this is going to be best for most of you high school kids. If you're in middle school and you know you like a stiff glove, then this is great for you too. This is just definitely stiffer, a little bit thicker, more durable, which is really, really good. Unless you're just a youth kid who needs the softer feel, A1000 might be your best option. But goodness gracious, 150 bucks. Actually, right now it's 140 on JustGloves.com. Very big fan of that. Marucci Oxbow, you guys, not a very big fan. Very padded and soft. 150 bucks, there are other gloves that are better. The A1000 Gamer XLE already, hands down, beat this thing out. That's really all I have to say. I already talked about it. The Encore is so similar to the XLE, I don't think we're gonna pay that much attention to it. Let me know if you'd be interested in the Sunflower Shorts. I think they're sick. Let me know. The Mizuno Prime Elite, you guys. This one is a little interesting. I don't know why, but it looks like a girl's fast pitch glove. I will say, out of everything here, this might have the most like actual leather on it. Because it has more leather on it, it means it needs a little bit more work to mold to your hand. Therefore, it is hanging on a thread right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the asparagus glove. Here's what I'll tell you. Laces, junky. Shape of the glove, junky. The leather on the palm, junky. The leather on the shell back, not that bad. But I can't stress enough, the shape of the glove is the worst part. The thumb and the heel are just so dang stiff. I would just never be able to tell somebody to go out of their way to get this glove, to even consider getting this glove. I think it's pretty bad. I just don't like it. That's all I gotta say. And then on top of that, the Academia is like pretty expensive. The Marucci Ascension series. I'm pretty disappointed by them so far. I just thought that they would have better gloves. They're not, they're not bad or anything, but I was expecting more. The Oxbow is just pretty dang soft and for similar gloves in the same price point, it's getting blown out of the water. And then the Ascension is the most expensive glove we have here, so it should be great. I'll make it simple. I would take the A1000, the XLE, or the Encore over the Marucci any day plus they're cheaper. I will say I really like the look of this Marucci. 
Out of our gloves, we are getting rid of three already. The Marucci Oxbow, the Rawlings Encore, and the asparagus glove. The Academa shape alone is really what's knocking it out. I would just never recommend this glove to somebody, plus the laces kind of suck. The Rawlings Encore is just a copycat of the Gamer XLE. It doesn't feel necessary to have both of them in here, plus it's slightly more expensive. The Marucci Oxbow, I, I want to kick it out. Should I just give it a chance? Give it a chance. We'll take ground balls with it. But this one is right there. Marucci Oxbow, baby, let's go. Yeah, that's why I'm kicking it out. So this glove genuinely feels like a pillow. Let's grab the A1000. Go ahead, hit me a couple. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. The Marucci Oxbow is very soft. The Wilson A1000 also has a similar feel when it comes out like how stiff it is. But the Wilson has like a shape and structure to it. The insides feel higher quality, whereas this feels like a pillow. Basically, the Wilson has the same feel, but it has more structure to it. It'll last longer. They're the same price, and this one is the better option. Okay, with that being said, the Oxbow is officially gone. Taking a couple more with the A1000, but then we're gonna move on. Whether you're youth or just like a softer glove, this is a really good option. We're just going rando here, guys. Mizuno Prime Elite, let's get it. That was weird, it just didn't bounce. You can tell this glove just feels a lot different. I already said it, but it's because there's like more leather on it. You know what? Hang on, this glove just like obviously needs more work than all of our other gloves. Okay, that wasn't much, but I think it'll make a difference. Oh, almost had doinkage right there. It really came all the way up to the fingers there. Ugh. Dude, there's so much less confidence with this thing. It just doesn't feel very good. Now, I've said that there's more leather on this glove, and there is, but it's also not like amazing leather. I'm having a lot of doinkage, which really just probably means I need to use it more. But I can guarantee you the overall feel of this glove, like the shape, I'm not a huge fan of. I've never felt so like mediocre about a glove. This thing is like super down the middle. The Marucci Ascension. This glove has a little bit of catch up to do. Marucci's have such a like distinct feel on your hand. I just realized we didn't do an honorary glove kick for the Academa. That was super average. Or the Encore. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Guys, once again, this Marucci feels a lot more like padded, like pillowy than it really should. Keep in mind, it's the most expensive glove here. There should be like the most true leather on this glove. But the insides of it are what I'm not liking. My biggest concern is like long-term. How long will this glove actually last? That soft padding on the inside really makes me think not that long. <sighs> okay, still not impressed. At this price point, I would expect a little bit more from this glove. If you already own one, you don't need a new glove. I think there's just better options. The Rawlings R9, again, 31 pattern. I'm probably not going to catch any in front of my face. Guys, the pattern itself I feel super comfortable with, but you can tell this leather is soft. Balls that hit like the upper part of the fingers just take it back a ton. Let me show you this one here. That's where we had the balls coming through, you guys. It really is just taking the glove away quite a lot. Easily one of my favorite patterns, but you guys, I'm not a fan of just how much this is flexing. This really feels like a race between these two. Extremely similar. The biggest takeaway is gonna be durability. Mizuno, MVP Prime. Show me what you can do. 
Oh, doinkage. I think this glove is like a really good combo for whether it's like adults playing slow pitch who want just like a solid in between or the youth kids who just need a solid glove. Soft, cheap, and still durable. Dang, I wasn't expecting it, but like beginning of the video, I probably would have guessed R9 for like the cheapest but best glove. Now I'm really leaning Mizuno. Not what I was expecting from you guys. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, we're saving best for last, baby. Let's go. Just putting it on. I love this glove so much. So much more firm, like so much more durability and stiffness just after one glove, because I hit the web. No! <sighs> Gamer XL, I love you. Sorry. Dude, I can't get a backhand with this thing. So I want to say this and the Mizuno both take like noticeably more work to really break in, which I'm taking away is a good thing. I think there's more durability in both of these gloves, specifically this one. I had a few backhands that are kind of popping out. I could do a little more work to the glove. Rawlings, I love your 31 pattern. 31 pattern traditional is where it's at. Boom, let's go. I'm serious, the Gamer XLE in this specific pattern, the one with like the speed shell, I can guarantee you is a phenomenal glove. I still don't even understand why it's 150 because the construction is there. Like it is durable in here. More people need to know about this. I love this thing. Just to be clear, rather than doing like a first best, second best, third best, this is more like splitting it into three categories. And it kind of is ranked at one, two, three at the same time. But number three, Mizuno MVP Prime. 120 bucks, it really did outperform the Rawlings R9, especially when it comes to nothing going through the web. I'm pretty impressed with it. It can work for youth and adults, whether that's slow pitch, playing catch with your son, very, very good option for the price. And you guys, I've consistently said the R9 is like one of the best options for a youth glove. Now it's the R9, but also the Mizuno MVP Prime. I'm actually gonna go straight to number one because you guys know what it is. The Rawlings Gamer XLE is incredible. Hands down, this is the best glove for 150 bucks. I actually just look, it's 140 right now in just gloves. The insides and like the construction of this glove are just so much better. Hands down, without a doubt, the best glove here. They also have a 12 and a quarter and a catcher's mitt of this glove as well. Rawlings, please make another version of this glove don't make it look like a youth glove. No silver or anything like that on it, please. Our final glove is actually pretty surprising. I did not think I was gonna like this at all. The A1000. Guys, I explained to you how this is like the best glove for the cheapest price. Let me explain the difference between these two. Anybody who wants like a nice high quality glove that has a solid feel to it, durable feel, get this glove. But if you need that softer feel because you're either youth or simply just like that feel, A1000 will be huge. The leather on this thing just looks really wrinkly. Not a fan of that, but it performed really well. It's definitely softer, requires very little break in. So this is gonna be huge, especially for youth. Obviously this doesn't fit for everybody, but I generally view this as middle school and under high school and up. Figure out what is best for you. This is a little more user friendly, whereas this requires intentional break in. It'll last you longer. I am super impressed with the Gamer XLE. I cannot stress it enough. It's honestly making me very anxious thinking that Rawlings is either gonna increase the price or just change something and not make these again, because this is phenomenal. And then the Mizuno MVP Prime is kind of our underdog. Like I said, this is the one where you just need to spend the smallest amount of money as possible. What do I get? MVP Prime. You guys, I cannot stress enough how much I like the XLE. I made a video on the KB17 a little while back, possibly the best utility glove that exists on the market right now. 